Boys, before we get into editing this video, from here on out, the next couple of videos, at 4,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a set of our Merit Archery Design Stabilizer Bars. They're 100% customizable, whatever you guys want. So all I got to do is uh, subscribe and leave your name in this video and any video that you see this intro. All right, boys, so we've made it out to the testing grounds. My goal is to build the ultimate total archery challenge bow. And I believe that we've succeeded. Um, we're gonna pick some random yardages. We're gonna shoot some long range bombs today. So this is like extreme archery volume three, extreme 3D. Who 62 yard got us an off yardage first? Boom, 62. And uh, we're gonna walk from all kind of different angles. I just gotta find these different angles, and once we find them, we'll shoot them. Uh, the bow that we're shooting is the Prime Revex 34 in 70 pounds at 29, yeah, 29 inch draw. Um, I'm waiting on my modules to come in to get it 29 and a half, but thus far it's working great. Let's light this thing. What a smoke show. Now I'm used to shooting with magnification. So shooting these kind of distances for me without magnification, it's tricky because that's almost like a handicap, like a crutch for me. But this bow setup, I'll never have magnification on it. I did for a while, and then I, cha I, I had a change of heart. That was a little low, but that's okay, because like I said, I'm still learning this bow as well. God, this thing is so smooth. It's so weird shooting without magnification. For me it is, it's like, it's incredibly hard. My eyes aren't necessary, they're good, but they're not the best. But shoot, this is worth it. That's exactly where I wanted it, so. That shot there, I've done the old Jack Wallace trick where I was talking to him at the clubhouse, he said when he's he's coming on his target, he starts at the top and he brings it directly in and then fires it off. And that landed where I wanted it to go. Mm. Nice. I know the groups are going to be big, but that's okay because, like I said, this is 60-something yard. 62. In a hunting scenario, that is a dead deer. So three ten ringers, two eights. I'll take that any day without magnification. Boom. Boys, I don't know if you can see. There's a turkey in there. And that sucker is back there. Tucked in some trees. And... I don't know what the yardage is. We're gonna find it. That's 62. Oh God. That's gonna be a hard shot. Literally gotta shoot right beside a tree. Now I've made this shot a bunch with magnification and I can just point it in there like a laser. But this right here's where the tune up, the tune up of your bow really really is critical because 
your air is coming out there wobbly and all that stuff, you might clip a limb. We want to be like a laser beam. So let's do it. Holy crap. That was a hard shot. Holy crap. The chickens. One more, one more, and that's it. I don't want to get, I don't want to test my luck. This thing, this thing is incredible, guys. Boys, I had to shoot in between this window and I landed them arrows in there, baby. 62 yard, but we need to go find something further. I got to get a hundred yard shot somewhere. Boys, super technical shot. I got to find it. The coyote is, all right, see the coyote right there. I'm gonna shoot through the V of that tree and hit that booger. Hopefully. No, I'm gonna be able to shoot by the side of it. <sighs> 66 yard. Whoo now if we mess up here, we hit the cell phone down there because it's like right in the damn firing line. It's not good. I have confidence in myself and the bow. I want you to do it. Everything's good, ready for takeoff. These are the kind of shots you're going to have at TAC, just so y'all know. If you got a TAC, you're going to have some crazy stuff like this. Without a phone in the way, of course. There was a tree limb. Okay, let's try one more time. I, I clocked that tree limb hard. Uh-oh, that's a part of doing these extreme 3D archery videos. Sometimes you hit stuff. We're gonna try one more shot. It's a really small window. We got it in the animal, that's all that matters. There's a lot more obstructions than I thought right there. So I need to go find that arrow because I got a feeling it's still good. So it glanced slightly off of a limb, but now if you go somewhere like Tack or something, the whole lane's gonna be cleared out. You're gonna be able to see, but shit, it'll- All right, boys, so I recovered that arrow. It's still in great shape. We just deflected off a tree, but look at this. This is how the Tack veins held up, baby. This shot here, that was the only part of that coyote I could see at 66 yard. <laughs> it was just the back half. That, was pretty tough i'm not gonna lie but i'm like super stoked on the rev -X. i really am i wanted to get a hundred yard shot but i don't think i have one here i have to get that at mom and dad's guys sitting here uploading this video i noticed i didn't make a outro so if you guys are interested in the rev -X, you have any questions if you're local or whatever hit me up on a saturday afternoon or sunday come over and shoot it at my house or at the archery shack um Holler at Jeremy Cheek and uh, go ahead and get yours ordered today. They'll have uh, 32s, 34s like mine, and 36s, which will be a target bow. But, uh, well, I say a target bow, longer axle axle bow. So, yeah, guys, we'll see y'all on the next one.